Winter is finally here, Matthew. I can't believe it. Woo! Oh my jizzle. <laughs> jizzle. That's oh my jizzle. Because episode one of Game of Thrones finally dropped. My it will gosh. Be, this is a spoiler free episode, I think. I think. Assuming you, you watched episode one of the latest season yeah i mean if you haven't watched it by now all 38 million of you guys that downloaded that <laughs> illegally through buyer channels <laughs> well you know what this is working out pretty well because we're doing the game of thrones design challenge and this is part two we're doing the word mark today and it's Ooh. a three-part challenge okay so part two just as a quick refresher we didn't get as many people submitting logos matthew so i'm a, I'm a little disappointed a little bit. I wonder why. I don't know. Maybe it's hard to do a word mark. They didn't take the oath. <laughs> they didn't take the oath. <laughs> they didn't swear allegiance. I am Chris Doe, the protector of the realms, <laughs> the, the father of the future, breaker of <laughs> chains and de student debt. <laughs> I, I, that's as far as I got. <laughs> Here we go, guys. So you're supposed to design a word mark for your chosen house. So if you participated in part one, you continue on using the same house. You can switch, of course, and if you're just jumping in, then you would go back and design a sigil, and that's okay. Remember the different houses that we have to work with, House Stark, House Lannister, Targaryen, Baratheon, Tyrell, Greyjoy, Tully, Aaron, and Martell. Those are the great houses of Westeros, Westerosi. Oh, I forgot, no, that's it, Martell, there we go. And what we wanted to do is to give you some guidelines as to how to design your mark. Make sure that it's memorable, that it's appropriate and that there's some customization to the letter forms and this time we were very clear to tell you guys to make it only black and white no gradients and i flashed a couple examples matthew thinks i might have steered you some of you wrong <laughs> looking at these examples but whatevs here we I don't are dance at you, Grace. Oh. <laughs> That's what said. we got the whole crew in here we got the whole cast and and team from the game of thrones series i don't care about that <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, somebody's got control of the soundboard. It's going to be wild today. It's going to be wild. Okay. Oh, there's some logos, you know. And then what I was really looking for is just to encourage you, just have a little bit of fun. But we still want to observe the rules of good design. And I was a little reluctant to even show you these other ones that have a little bit too much stuff going on. But hey, whatever. So we're looking at it. Impressive. Let's take, <laughs> let's take a look at your work. This is the moment we're all been, we've all been waiting for. Now, those of you guys that don't know, not yet, Jonah! Oh, Jesus. Don't jump to, jump in Jonah Jameson. <laughs> Just relax one bit. I'll tell you when we're going to go to it. He's had a little coffee this morning, so he's ready to go. I hope you're ready to go. People are saying I'm a little cranky. Maybe, but not right now. I'm in a good mood, you guys. All right, so. I forgive you. <laughs> I appreciate it. So first up is House Aaron, and the motto is as high as honor. And I think it's a falcon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the first entry here, and I have some thoughts on this, Matthew. I have some thoughts. So let's jump over to my iPad. Who is that? Who is that? Can you read the name? I think that's... Oh, it's our good friend, Kento Yoshida. Kento, Kento, Kento Yoshida. Oh, my gosh. Matthew, I was even looking down there, and you reminded me, hey, read the name. <laughs> yeah, Kento so Yoshida. Kento. He, he he's ended... up front right now, isn't he? He's up front. He, he won the first challenge. He won the first challenge. So he has the most points. He's on the top of the leaderboard. Okay, so I, I like this. This is using a, what typeface is, do we know? It's a good serif typeface, and he's added these little bits, these little bits, mm -hmm. right? Let me, let me, can I zoom in? No, I cannot. Oop, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> so he's added little bits in there, and I think that's kind of nice. He's, he's also done what, what is called as ligatures, where the one letter form, the leg of the R, connect with the other serif. Mm -hmm. And that's sometimes really cool to do. And he's mostly solving spatial issues like here mm -hmm. here looking at that so it feels pretty balanced to me mm -hmm. and he's got these little talons mm -hmm. the hooks there let me undo all this stuff right i think if i do this it'll get rid yeah. of it okay cool but i think it's maybe just a little bit too much matthew yeah i think there's too many of those little hooks or claws there at the bottom on the serifs yeah uh, but i like the idea of it, just like a subtle amount so what could we do to to uh, clean that up a little bit i i don't think this thing needs a lot of work done to it by my by my eye so what i'm going to say is let's try and get rid of these extra ones here mm. okay and we want to get rid of those so that we're left oh maybe even this one so we're left with a hook here at the bottom of the a and then we're left with one on the bottom of the end so it'll terminate like a normal serif and then we just add a little flourish a lot of times what you need to do in logo design is to show restraint now through the magic of television I'm going to show you what it looks like. We just placed a white box over it, over here. And if you cut back to my keynote deck, 
it's done magically. Magic. Like that. Mm. It's just a subtle little thing. That's all we need. You're right. One. <laughs> I feel like Matthew's going to be doing this the whole day. He spent all night downloading every single sound, I think. It's ready to go. He's very excited today, as, as he should be. I wish we had some snow in, inside the studio, but it's a lot warmer in here than it looks right now. It's a bad plan. <laughs> okay. How many people are watching right now? 81. A whopping 81 Whoa. people tuning in for the live Game of Thrones episode critique review challenge my number gosh. two. I oh think my the gosh. notifications just went out, so people are trickling in. Okay, oh, keep awesome. people keep keep telling somebody. Go grab a friend, tell them what's up, and you might see your work and you might get a critique. Let's see. So the next one is this one right here. Um, let's see who this one's by. Oh, it's by Kento again. Oh my Dang. gosh. Kento's all over the place, Killing yeah? It. My gosh. My gosh. Okay. Oh, I messed up on my deck here. So let me take a look at this first. You know, usually what I want to do is just look at a mark before I go and rip it apart. Okay? So I think he's using a similar typeface, similar serif typeface, but this one's even bolder than the last one. And it's got what I can tell is a falcon right here, because I can see the little head of the falcon. And it's got these wings at the bottom. I think it's a nice idea, Matthew. Mm -hmm. I think it's a really nice idea, but the problem is right now, it looks like three fingers. Right. And, and it looks really weird. Right. And the A feels a little separated from the rest of the type. Mm. Like, I feel, well, maybe that's part of the idea. It feels like it's lifting off. I don't know. But it feels like the A is actually ascending and it's not sitting on the same baseline. Mm -hmm. I think there's something here that can work. And let me see if. Again, I'm just going to try to white out this part. It's just too much stuff. See what we, how we feel about this. This is me doing this all in Keynote, you guys. It's not even Photoshop, so <laughs> bear with me. We, we use tools in unusual ways. That's what we do. So is there enough there for you to read that it's a falcon? I don't think so. It's, it's not enough. Yeah. I think it was too much. It's like it clipped its claws. Yeah. So maybe I think it's in the design of the head of the falcon up oh, what are we doing? like here i think if we just design that a little bit different we can make it work but we right. also have to remember i think he had a symbol right of a bird or something up here uh for his uh for his sigil yeah he did two different ones for aaron i remember mm -hmm. so if we have a bird here let's just say there's a bird there or whatever mm -hmm. do we need another bird here right I, I just think that's maybe a little bit too much right but the subtleties are nice like his previous one yeah. with the claws. I think those two things would pair well with each mm -hmm. other. And I know what a lot of you guys are thinking, because this is a second Kento Yoshida one. If you cut to my laptop, I think a lot of the designers who are <laughs> oh on there my. just like, oh my gosh, this fool. <laughs> Kento Yoshida is adding how many entries did he do? I don't know how many he made into the top 50, but I know that's how some people might be feeling. All right, so he's going to kill us with the numbers again, isn't he? <laughs> Kill us with the volume. He went per prodigious volume. amount. That's right. Okay, let's go back to my deck here. So here's the next entry here, and this one. Oh, look at this one here. Hmm. First, from far away, it looks like it's torn paper, and it makes this really hard to read. But what I think here is, he's uh, who, who is this? This is William Youngblood. What up, Youngblood? Youngblood. I think the the issue here is. He's put the veil in there and the moon. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are just adding too much stuff into their word mark, mm -hmm. knowing very well that it's going to live with the sigil. You know, yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I think it's a little too complicated. I like how he explored this, though. This feels like it would be great if it was a movie poster, mm. right? It could be cool for, it kind of reminds me of like Predator or something like that. That's, that's pretty rad. Mm -hmm. um, but you're right, it doesn't feel appropriate for the, the use case here. Yeah, so I'm going to make a suggestion for you, William Youngblood. I am I think you should finish out, let's say this is the baseline, right? Let's finish out the letter form here. And don't, don't get too tricky. Here's the rule with this kind of stuff, you know? Just have one trick. This is where you being a one-trick pony is actually good. And then you could either use the veil there or the crescent moon which i like so if i were to to draw this here it could be a solid a like this and just have one crescent moon now that looks terrible now that i'm seeing it no wonder you did it that way what do i know about logo design careful <laughs> no all right you be careful <laughs> so i i just think maybe then this could work 
I, I think I drew the baseline a little bit too low. But I also think it the, it being in the area, it's like really high up. So maybe having a taller letter form, a more condensed letter form, might get that feeling that it's up high mm -hmm. versus being squat and low. And maybe that's one of the problems I'm having with this mark, right? Mm -hmm. It feels a, re a little squashed. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's move on. Let's go on to the next one, which is the last entry here for Aaron. Woo! A lot of stuff going on here, Matthew. Woo! Okay. Wow. How do we feel about this? I think the uh, interior details inside the letter forms, are, like if we squint and, and shrink that, I feel like that's probably too much details in there. I kind of like the idea between the, the hooks on the A and on the N. That's kind of a fun thing. It feels like the talons on the claws that we saw in Kento's. Right, whose is this? Can you see that? Yeah, this is William Youngblood. Oh, William Young, Youngblood. Youngblood? Yeah. Um, so I, I think there's some interesting stuff going on. Mm -hmm. the, the letter spacing, the kerning between the AR and the RR and the RY, like they're all a little off, where the A and the N feel like they're too far apart. And then the RRY feels like it's too oh, okay, tight. Okay. So let me see if I can illustrate this for everybody. You need to bring these in. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. So you, you guys recall, what you want to do is look at your trickiest kerning pair, the hardest one to bring together, which is usually when you have a straight line and something like the Y shape. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to block this out. Let's just pretend that's the letter N because this creates a lot of volume here. And there's, you can only push those together so tight before the integrity of the letter forms get ruined or they have to touch. So the ligatures are going to happen. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Now you can do that by customizing the letter form a little bit. So how do you do that? So let me see if I can take this moment to do a little quick dirty demo. It's dirty demo day. So <laughs> what we're going to do is this. I'm going to draw the line, right? So if we have the R, let's say the R is here. Okay, I'm going to just fill that in real quick. Oh, what the heck is going on? <laughs> it's getting a little crowded that? in here. A little crowded. A little crowded, Matthew. <laughs> Are you playing two sound effects at the same time? Yeah. Okay. Pig shit. What the? <laughs> what? It's a family show. All right. I'll, it's a family I'll show. PG-13. Okay, yeah. So if I have the letter N here, just do this real quick. And then he has this kind of... Mm -hmm. Exaggerated thing. I this like is, that. This is kind of a little tricky to do, right? So now we got to get this Y in here. So the way that you can do the Y is you can raise the Y up. So that you can bring the letter oh, forms closer cool. together. So create some space in there. Yeah. Agreed. So, okay, thank you. And Chris, talk a little bit about your analogy. You're, like you're pouring sand between the characters. Yeah, so you have to look at it in a volume sense, not... And we're trying to do optical letter spacing, right? So it's not going to be about mathematically that a lot of people make this mistake. So they'll say, well, this measurement and this measurement feel about the same, right? Mm -hmm. And But what you have to do really do is you have to look at the space in between. So that's like you pouring sand and the volume that exists between those things. And so the tightest kerning pair is always going to be two circles like that. Mm. So you have two letter O's, they're going to be really tight together because there's a lot of space in between. And usually your regular one is going to be two letter I's or a letter N and an I, right? So like, let's say that's the N. So this is going to be your default. So this is really tight. This is normal. And when you have diagonals like two letter A's next to each other, there's a lot of volume here. So that is going to be tricky too. That's what you're looking at. So there's only so many shapes that you're going to have to deal with a circle and a, and a line, a circle and an angle, that kind of stuff. So when you go in and work on this stuff, what, what I would suggest is modifying the letter forms so that your kerning looks good. Hmm. And that's really where the little flourishes should be driven from. It's not necessarily to illustrate. Remember what Sagi Haviv said, which is logos are punctuation. They're not communication. Agreed. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. So if I were to finish out this logo, I'm not going to drop these R's down too far because everything is yelling at me, look at me, look at me. It's like that little bratty kid. I don't want to do that. Okay, now I can tell my letter spacing's jank, right? Now, when I put in the A, I was thinking, you, you have a shape going down and a shape going up. What if you did the letter A like this somehow Ooh. to make it work that way? And I don't know how to design that just yet, but I'm just going to 
play around here a little bit, okay? So that these two shapes are symmetrical. Mm. The eye likes symmetry, okay? So I don't know. I don't know how to make that work yet because that's not very legible either. But I kind of like that it, it feels like from the top view, it could be the spread of the bird's wing or something. Mm -hmm. I, I know this looks terrible, guys. Forgive me. Forgive me, Father. Right? <laughs> so that's that's what I would do. Okay? That's it. I like the little details, these little barbed things, the inline detail. Mm -hmm. And those are nice. Maybe there's too many of them and the way they're integrated together. Um, but I, I like having a little bit of that detail. Okay. Good job, William Youngblood. Okay, let's Get move on. smart boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's move on to House Baratheon. Ours is the Fury, House Baratheon. Baratheon symbol is the stag, which is a, a boy deer with the horns. So first up, we have, who do we have? This is Tejin Kim. I remember Tejin. Tejin entered oh, really? round one. Oh, wow. Good memory, Matthew. I yeah. remember nobody. <laughs> <laughs> My memory's not so good like that. Wow. Oh. Okay. There's a lot going on here. It, it definitely has a vibe and a feel. It feels kind of very gothic, mm -hmm. Transylvania, like vampire-ish. And then I think we were looking at your logos yesterday and somebody's like, I feel like that's a lot like Castlevania, mm -hmm. the video game logo, right? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> you thought? Oh, oh no. Matthew. Matthew is ready with the memes today. Oh my oh, gosh. No. Okay, okay, that's what's going on. <laughs> we got a lot of tricks going on. We have a giant drop cap. Okay, so what do I mean by drop cap? These were used a lot in illuminated manuscripts back in the day. Like if you pull out the Old Testament or these fancy books, they're gonna, ha they're gonna use this big drop cap. Mm -hmm. the, the thing with the drop cap is you can't just take a letter and scale it up. Because what happens here, and let me do this in red, is this stroke becomes really big compared to that one. Right. So what you have to do is you have to draw it over. You have to redraw it. Right. So the, the widths match, okay? So that's that's kind of like my big thing here is like there's a lot of like weird stuff going on here. It mm -hmm. does feel very retro-ish uh, in that kind of old school Transylvania, Castlevania game vibe. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I, I think what we need to do is everybody, like you want to find your one trick, your one thing, and just build your entire mark around that and try to solve problems like this. Try to solve these kinds of problems. Don't invent those. So that's when you go in to modify the letter forms, okay? And I'm also noticing here, or maybe it's an illusion. Just don't, don't forget this, guys. When you have a flat serif, it sits on the baseline. But if you have a curved or an angular thing, it should overshoot it ever so slightly so that it feels optically, I'm exaggerating here, that they sit on the same baseline. Why? Because I said optically. <laughs> Gee, no supper for you. Go to your room. All right, that's what you want to do. Okay, so you, it's called an overshoot, over, shoot. And if there's a circle, it does the same thing. It's going to go a little bit under the baseline. Okay, and you do it for optical reasons because when you when you zoom out, you'll start to feel like it doesn't quite hit the baseline. Mm. Mm. Okay, let's move on. That's Tejin Kim. Next up, who do we have? We Oh, we have another one from Tejin Kim. Oh gosh, my you guys. gosh. Why are there so many? <laughs> <laughs> Some people are really good and they, they put a lot in there. I put, put a lot of effort, did they multiple did. ones. So I applaud that. That's awesome. Yeah, I love that. I love that too. So let's look at this one. Uh, we probably should say this. If you haven't watched Game of Thrones and you plan to, I, I guess these memes are going to ruin it for you. <laughs> the throne is mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one is another one for House Baratheon. There's a couple of issues with this, so let's get into it. First of all, word marks like this have a problem because there's so much space. So in order for this to fit on a small ring or something very tiny, let's, let's imagine a business card, you'd have to scale this thing down so small it would become almost illegible. Even at this scale, you see all this detail in here has been added? These lines? They could, you could barely see them now. Imagine if you had to make them smaller, you wouldn't be able to see them at all. I got another problem with this one is that this B, usually a two-story letter like this, the top bowl is 
going to be set in a little bit because otherwise what happens it's doing what it feels like it's leaning over right it's crowding it a little it's crowding bit. over it almost feels like they flipped this upside down mm. where the bee the 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 bowl of the bee should be bigger on the bottom and they flipped it over so that's one problem there the other one the other big problem that it's pretty obvious to me is the house the house it doesn't look quite look like an h i don't even know if we need it i mean i would rather just see baratheon right Oh, okay. Right? Right. Good point. Okay, well, Matthew just ended the conversation right there. Like that. <laughs> I'm just like, that, get yeah. rid of it. Just well, say, so it's a issue. Right, so what, I, I, I see why, because Baratheon is very long, mm -hmm. right? And I think this is actually a pretty nice typeface, right? Like, it has some cool detail. It has this, these little barbs sticking out. I don't know what that's called. It has these triangular serifs. So some pretty cool old school detail here. It's a good typeface that you're building this on. And I think... Trying to mix two typefaces becomes really tricky because this feels like from another universe. And I think they did House Baratheon because they wanted it to take up more space. So if you were to do this, what I would do is this. Baratheon. Hopefully I can spell. <laughs> then I would do House up on top. Hmm. So that it feels more like a lockup, a unit. Okay? And then try to design it to fill in the space. So this is where you can have a little bit of fun. You could try to do a bigger B here. Now that looks terrible. Maybe it's put on one of those curved paths so that you can make it tight. Like Everlast. The Everlast logo, right? Okay. I think that's enough for this one. Let's move on. What do we have up next? It's Pedro Brisola. Pedro. Ooh. Mm. There's a lot to look at here. There is a lot to look at. Okay, let me process this. Okay. I like I like the antlers. You do? It's it's fun. I, I, I think it's a nice uh nice little flourish, a nice little element there. I don't think that the execution is is solid in terms of how it's incorporated. Mm -hmm. Like if we look at the curves of the R and the curves of the O, it feels like it's just kinda latched on and dropped on there on the top rather than it being connected to the round curve of the R and the round curve of the O. Oh, okay. So I think there are little things to do to help incorporate those elements a okay. little bit better. All right. So let me get in here. I, I'm going to try some surgery here, guys. Let's see if it works. I'm going to try to draw this part in here. I'm going to try to make it be complete as part of the top of the R, right? And I'm just I'm going to spat, spackle over this part right here so that that critical juncture is going to connect. Now, I'm going to switch over to my white. Let's see if I can get this to work where I can thin this part out a little bit. And get it to connect there and then I I would like to break this here and then I'm gonna get rid of this bottom part I don't think we need this Baratheon okay oh, yeah, how's yeah, that yeah. guys like that that. Feels much keynote better. guys keynote <laughs> that's what I'm doing not even Photoshop right okay so I like this typeface it's got uh, triangular serifs unbracketed serifs I guess or maybe the, that's bracketing but it's not curved some other problems I have is this. The ours is the fury. Now I don't mind that you add in the model. I think it's kind of nice. But really, fill in this space, guys. Really work it in here so it's all customized into here. Maybe this is where it needs to go. Ours is the fury, and these little triangular doodads. These um, what do they call these? Get um, dingbats. Yeah, I think that's the term. They're called dingbats. I feel like they're out of character. Mm -hmm. And I think this mark could look really good on a bottle of scotch. Like one of those mm -hmm. really premium, prime reserve, aged 30 years in an oak barrel, smoked and not. I, I feel like it could get there. So mm -hmm. let's keep working on this. I like this. So Time for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> so Pedro, good job. You know, And I think this secondary typeface doesn't quite complement the other one as nicely. So let's look into that as well. All right. I'm just more and more impressed with Apple every day. It's keynote. I wish I could do this on my regular keynote. So here's the last entry to Baratheon. This one's kind of nice. Ooh. Okay. Is I that think. Pagan look? Yeah. So this is from Lillian Figueroa. Mm -hmm. Figueroa. Nobody's going to join me on that one. <laughs> oh, 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 Is that a queen? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Okay, <laughs> I've just left alone on an island to die by myself. <laughs> Wilson! Okay. Winter has come for you. <laughs> yeah, it got really chilly in this room. This Thank you. Awkward. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. This one, 
I, I think it's based on these older, I want to say like Gaelic or Irish. Yeah, Celtic. Celtic typefaces, right? It feels like it. And so it has a good throwback quality to it. Barath Theon. Maybe the H isn't super legible, but for the most part, I like it. It's really simple. Maybe what we can do is tighten up the letter spacing a little bit. And I like this part. Let me get in here. This O has three lines through it. And mm -hmm. correct my memory if I'm wrong, all you Game of Thrones fans out there. I think there are three brothers, right? There's Stannis. Right. There's uh, Renly. Mm -hmm. And there's Robert, Robert. Right. King Robert. So that's kind of a nice, like, three brothers who are going to inherit the throne. And there's some conflict there. I won't tell you what happens. So I, I kind of like that. It's a little simple thing for the house and the family. The only problem is over time when their children theoretically take over the throne, there may be a problem. <laughs> but it's Chris. okay. I'm not going to say anything. I know you guys are all giggling. Not a look. Kill all of them. I command it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even looking at the screen. <laughs> Matt is waiting for me to <laughs> check out the screen. We're waiting. We're waiting okay. Here. All right. Let's move on. Next up is House Bolton. Our blades are sharp. Not Ooh, affiliated. Not affiliated with Michael Bolton. <laughs> <laughs> What's his song? What's his uh, one song? I don't remember. Tell me up. how am I supposed <laughs> to live without you? That's no, more raspy, right? Yeah. Now Something. that I've been loving you so long. <laughs> it's a little bit more raspy. <laughs> hey, the Filipino in Matthew is coming out right now. It's karaoke yeah. night. Dude. Winter has come. We're doing it. <laughs> Karaoke has come. You're my lady. <laughs> I even I'm forget. sorry. How's Bolton? Are they the flayed man? Flayed man, yeah. The flayed man. The flayed man. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me of that. So here we go. Here's one logo that made the cut. It, it it's reminiscent of the other one that's got a got that Celtic vibe to it. I see. You oh, see the flayed I man see the flayed man there. The oh, clever, clever. So there's the flayed man right there which they hang people they don't hang them they bolt them to a cross that's right but i think they do them this way right they don't hang them upside down do they oh actually i forget now on the because i'm on the internet figure that out for me please who is it is it like that so this feels oddly really friendly until you realize what those what are. they do what right. they're known for which is to skin people alive and nail them to these x's so I think in terms of appropriateness, this is where it's thrown me off. We have some other funky things going on here. So let's look at House Bolton. Okay, so this is a good use of modifying letter forms. You'll notice that um, Kendra brought up the T so that the L, because this is a very tricky lettering combination, a kerning pair here. So if I were to draw the L, right, the way that it's drawn here, we have this long leg of the L, and then we have the T. Let me do this kind of quickly here. It's kind of flared ends. And it looks like that, right? So mm. what happens is you have all this space to deal with. And now that means you have to push all the letter forms apart. So then the O would have to look, live out here somewhere. Right? So this is a good use of modifying the letter. So Kendra bumped this base up so that I'm assuming it's she can move the letter forms closer together. And I like that. We have some little funky things going on here, right? A little bit funky. And the reason why is your eye wants to continue this across. And it doesn't quite come across. Right. There's some funny things going on there. There's definitely some opportunities for things to flow together a lot mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. um, so there's, there's, there's a lot of potential there. Mm. And remember, when you're drawing letter forms like this, I don't know if you scan this in, if this is really a typeface or whatever, but keep in mind that a typeface is supposed to be a family, and there are things that bring it together. So when you look at the way that these serifs are drawn, some are sharp and don't taper, like the B, right? And then you'll notice here the N hooks in a funny way, and then the bottoms of the N are different and unique and aren't shared anywhere so it, it could start to feel like we've cobbled a lot of things together mm -hmm. and that's the danger there mm -hmm. okay that's all just something to think about 
Okay, let's move on to House Greyjoy. House Greyjoy, they're the great pirates of the sea. And what's the island called? Uh, the Iron something? The Iron Islands. Iron Islands. Thank you, yeah. Matthew. This is an alley oop. Matthew took me halfway, and I'm going <laughs> to put it in the basket here. House Greyjoy, their motto is we do not sow. They just rape and plunder because they have no fertile lands to grow crops on. It's kind of like the, the old days of the Vikings. I think it kind of feels like that. Like the Nordic. Uh, yeah, the Nordic things. And they're, they're masters of the sea. Okay. So let's get into Greyjoy. And their sigil is an, a kraken, right? Yes. A giant kraken. Ah, okay. Bring on the kraken. Okay. So we have tentacles from a kraken in here. I like the, uh, the, the tracked out type. I really like that serif typeface. Yeah. It's really nice. I think the issues I have with it is the weight of the tentacles coming off of the R. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're unbalanced. Like mm -hmm. they're very heavy relative to the weight of the details in the, in the, in the type. Mm -hmm. There's some nice things going on here. Do you think we need two tentacles? I feel like one would, the bottom one is really nice actually. Yeah. So I'm going to go and do a little dis digital surgery and see if I can cut that off a little bit. Dang, it's so good. It's iPad. I'm rocking the iPad Pro too, you guys. I'm just saying that because I'm flexing. Yes, my lord. <laughs> that's some precision there. It, it, it can be rather oh, precise. Oh, that's a horrible one. <laughs> Chris. Rick. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Mark, have we lost all the viewers? We have are, are two we, viewers now. We have two viewers. <laughs> we are going backwards in time and we're losing viewers. Okay. So, I don't know how you guys feel Ooh, about that. That's, that's one trick. Yeah, yeah. I'm so, let me show them the pony. before and after. Okay, the before and after. You can yeah. talk back and forth. Yeah. It's, it's more balanced. I don't know if I like the tentacle crossing over on the Y. Like the yes. J, the J feels all right. Yep. Um, but the Y, it feels like it's disrupting the legibility of the Y. So if that actually came under and then looped back up and maybe uh, crossed over the J, I think that would mm -hmm. be a little bit more legible. So Matthew's talking about that part. We have mm -hmm. to be mindful of the intersections. Mm -hmm. The intersections, right? So maybe it's dropped down a little bit, right, Matthew? Mm -hmm. Or you want it to go all the way under? I think it might be nice if it goes all the way under the Y. All right, so I'm like, going to pretend to draw that stroke and let's see what happens here. Mm -hmm. It's just a guess. Right? Mm -hmm. So something like that. Mm -hmm. So you preserve the integrity of the letter form. I can try to test my ability to draw using this, Ooh, using Keynote. Look at Keynote there. Apple, call me. Maybe. <laughs> I know I just met you. Sounds a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Beautifully done. Hold on. That deserves a... Hold on. There we go. I don't know if you guys can hear that on the internet. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to the black thing. What was that? Did you hear that, Matthew? Yeah. Hold on. Is it snowing? It's difficult to explain. Something popped in this room. Are you certain? Yes, I am. I need to speak to him. It's kind of like, um. Okay, I think that's what Matthew's talking about. It feels a little limp now. Right. Like there's not enough snap to it. So when you draw letter forms like this, we're always looking at the S curve. When it, it's too flat like this, it doesn't feel right. So right. what we want to do is probably have it come down and come back up. So it's got a nice motion dynamic whip to mm -hmm. it. A little whip. Can you nay nay? <laughs> no, okay. Uh, and speaking of whip, look at this one. OMG. It's all whipped out. Holy cow. This, this is from Sylvain Rotier. Rotier? Something like that. There's an extra syllable there, <laughs> or a vowel, I'm sorry. Greyjoy. Wow. This looks like one of those films where the girl comes out from the drain with her hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the haunting or the, the whatever. Ring, maybe. What is it called? The ring. The ring. The ring. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of stuff going on here. It, the problem here is I get the idea that it's the Kraken, but it feels like it's too wispy and doesn't have enough weight at the end. So if we were to just go back in and add those weird little hands at the back end of this it could feel a little bit more like the kraken i don't know why i said that in a ger fake german austrian <laughs> thing now what do you guys think does it read a little bit better 
I, I feel like it's the uh, things are a little plugged up after the G, like the G. Oh, that's the major problem. R-E. Yeah, I feel, and then the weights after, like the uh, the E and the J, feel a little inconsistent. Yeah, in Greyjoy, so yeah. it's like there's little things. I, I like the the weight of the G, but I think if everything else were to help balance that out, then. Uh, then it would feel a little bit more legible because if we've made that really small, it's going to be very, very hard to read. There's all kinds of legibility issues. It's kind of gumming up all over here. There's the parts we're talking about, right? Mm-hmm. And there's some inconsistencies, inconsistencies in the weight. The, the crossbar of the J of Greyjoy, there needs to be a little bit more weight here. It almost feels like this. They, somebody took the Trader Joe's logo and put a crack on all over it. And started modifying the letter forms. If you're not an expert letter form designer, drawing one from scratch sometimes can be very difficult to do. Right. If I can't zoom in, I can't pinch zoom this. My, my one regret, Apple, please allow us to pinch zoom in on this, turn this into Procreate. Then, then I would be very happy with you. But if you focus in on the E, this is what happens here. I want you guys to think about this. You have to follow through on the letter forms, okay? Let me show you what I mean. Let's say it's like that. Okay. And then you have the crossbar of the E. Now, if you were to zoom in here, which you can't, yours looks a little different. It looks like you drew the outside, and then on the inside, you you do it like this, so that these two things, I'm, I'm grossly exaggerating here, these two things don't line up. I always wanted to do the right thing. Well, you should do it then. I did. <laughs> well, what do you... T- okay, then. <laughs> I have no comeback for you. If you always want to do the right thing, just do it. Have your men raised the white flag and open the gates? We're going home. <laughs> Aw. Not yet. We're still on Greyjoy. Hold on, Theon. Okay. Next up. Next up, who do we have? This is Israel Ramirez. Ooh. I like Ramirez. how chunky this one is. Mm-hmm. There, yeah, I really like the weight of this stuff. Yeah. And I like actually the little flourish on the G, so it feels like a little tentacle curling there. Mm-hmm. I like the subtlety of that, so I think this is very smart. Mm. I want you, everybody to look at this mark. I know we don't like to say these things, but I want you to express to me the feeling that you get from looking at this. Not what it reminds you of, just the feeling. Okay, everybody lock it in. What do you think of, okay? I'm going to draw something on here, and when you guys agree with me, let me know. What does it feel like? Somebody know? People are just starting to comment. What are they saying, Mark? Let's see. Nothing yet. People are going to be very upset at me in a little bit. So get that sound effect ready. (laughs) Someone says watery, groovy. Feeling. What does it feel like? I didn't know if feeling could be watery. Last time somebody asked me how you feeling, I feel watery. <laughs> what? Are you trying to say tortilla chips? Yes, I am saying tortilla. Uh, Doesn't it feel like no? La it, it does not. Tostada. No, it does. It doesn't. To it me. feels a little Latin. Uh, no, like, not a little at south all of the to border. Me. I don't know. No. No? I don't think so. No, not quite. No, to me. I don't think so. See, tostadas. Chris, no. I think you're just bringing that package okay. in. Remember what uh, our buddy said. Uh, you can't say it reminds me of. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm not. I didn't say it reminds me of. I use the word. It feels like. <laughs> I remember totally everything. Con- Zing. Totally different concept. It feels like I'm lost in creepy woods. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna undo all this stuff. I think conceptually, there's some good stuff there. Okay, let's talk about it. I like again the the G and then the J. Also, they all feel like tentacles to me. When I look at that thing, it, they all feel like tentacles. So those subtle details make it feel like it's a nice little, like, chunky tentacle that's coming down in there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of uh, little details in the typeface. Of course, we can't zoom in on this, where it, it doesn't feel like it's, mm, like, all the details are, are dialed in. Because uh, it looks, a li- like, around the E. Yeah, oh, thanks for punching in. Yeah, things look, like, around the O. Like, the chunkiness, I... I appreciate that from afar, but when we get close in on the details, I feel like those things could be a little bit more refined. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's having a little fun right now. Yeah. It might be too much, but I, it is too uh, much. But I like the idea behind that, where if you add subtle things like that, it might be a nice little nod. That's all. Is that okay? Don't hate me, because I'm beautiful. Don't do it. That's it. Let's move on. Look at this one. Oh, my gosh. This is from Enrique Alonso, who also changed the typeface at the bottom. Shame. Shame. (laughs) (laughs) We'll 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 get that ready. Okay. There's a lot going on in this one. Gray. Gray joy. (laughs) Is that what it says? 
<laughs> this is one where. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Matthew, you should have brought your outfit. You should have brought your nun outfit in here. It would look really good. I have one. <laughs> we need a bigger. We need a bigger budget here. We're we're, we're running on, like on nickels and, and dimes. Some sponsor here. send us money. Yes, man. guys, come on. We'll make this come a more on. exciting show. <laughs> we, we can do better. There's so much going on in this thing. I I don't even know where to begin. There's little lines, and then there's little things at the end of those lines. So many flourishes going on. We we got a big G, and a, a backwards J. Whew. If you didn't know what this said, how would you read this? Uh, Erayoi. Yeah. yeah, it's a it's a little. It's Some a little letters are clear, right? So this is one of those things where I think you you have like good calligraphy skills, and these letter forms are drawn really well, Enrique. But I think it's just two bananas, too much stuff going on. Okay, use a little more restraint, and then. You put your creativity into that part. Okay, we got a lot of gray joy. So we have one more here oh, to wow. look at. Salvador Rodriguez. Oh. Did I say that right, Jonah? Yes, you did. Okay, Rodriguez. 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 Salvador Rodriguez. Okay. Hmm. I like this one. What are we thinking here, Matthew? I, I, I like the uh, the weathered look on this thing because it feels like weathered mm. wood on, yep. a, on a ship. Mm. Um, so that G and the uh, the details on the O, those little notches, kind of feels like uh, old wood. So that's pretty nice. Uh, and then also on the bottom, the flourishes again. They maybe the idea is that they feel like tentacles. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a little much on the the Y and the Y. I feel I wish those two things weren't repeated that same way. I wish the the details on the far Y was a little bit more exaggerated, and maybe the one on the middle is a lot less. Okay. I could yeah. do that. Let me start working on that with my magic pen. So maybe we just start eliminating things. So you notice that every time we have some problems, we just go in, we just start deleting until we feel like, oh, maybe it could end there. Maybe maybe that's okay, right? And then, Matthew, you were talking about the second why, right? You want it to be more prominent. So I'm just going to erase all this stuff right now. Mm -hmm. Is the internet mad at me because I'm using Keynote? I mean, they were mad at oh. me when I was using Photoshop. Now they're, they're probably going bananas. I think they're more intrigued. They're more intrigued. Yeah, some people are wondering if it's only on Mac. So it sounds like they want to try it. No, I believe you can get Keynote for the PC. Oh. Yeah, but I'm using it with an iPad Pro, and you need to be able to do that so that you can draw on the surface, okay? All right. So I'm going to try to draw this part back out, right, Matthew? And what did it do before? It dropped back down? already forget oh there's the before it curled it it curled back into itself okay so let me just try this and see how bad I can make it look mm. and then you guys tell me if it's okay so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to mirror letter forms and complete the shape here yeah I like that that's what I'm trying to do right so usually when you do those ligatures that's what you're supposed to use them for which is to close up space and make a nice tight configuration. Okay? So I noticed that if that's a little whippy right there, maybe I need to do a little bit something similar there. And now I think we need to fix the G. How do you guys say G in Spanish? Say hey? Hey? Well, yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> it's like a, like a in French, it's <laughs> je. Je. Okay. Just kidding. Okay, so here's some problems I have with the G. I don't know if we want to close off the G because I think that hurts the legibility of the G. By having a clear crossbar there, I think it makes it a little easier to read. Mm -hmm. Now we have a new problem. I'm going to draw a blue line here to show you what the problem is. If we draw a baseline, if I can draw a straight line, I think what we need to do is lower this part a little bit so that it feels like it's on that same line because mm. it's really thick here and it feels like it's rising also because of this mm. like where's the bottom of the G okay so I'm gonna undo that and then I'm gonna draw on top of this okay are there any comments that I need to be aware of on no. social no people are just kind no? of saying that they they like this one they said it feels pirate ish yeah that's the term <laughs> and question for me is that g supposed to represent some type of 
creature. Uh, well, I, I think they're having fun with it, getting that vibe of swashbuckling pirates at the sea, at sea. So I don't know if it's going to also double as like a tentacle. Tentacle, mm. right? Now, when I, once I race it, can you guys see now that it feels like the G is a little higher than everything else? Yeah. Or is it just me? Yeah, no, it feels like it's lifting up a little bit. A little bit, bit right? Yep. Yeah. So what I want to do now is I want to delete this part and want to redraw this so that it dips a little bit lower so it's optically going to be okay. And we can do that with the first letter. Usually you can do it with the first letter. Who needs Photoshop and Illustrator when you got keen up? I don't want to. Well, I didn't ask you. Could you hit her? <laughs> okay, so that's one way to do it. I, I feel like we want to complete the shape here. Mm -hmm. And I don't have those skills. I mean, it could curl back around, right? Like if it extended off the bottom of the G, it gets a little thin and then comes back around and thickens out. Yeah, we can do that. I, I think... Or would that weight it funny? Well, we can always try, Matthew. There's, it doesn't cost anything to try. So I'm going to delete some of this, right? So like every time I delete it, I like it even better. But we have a problem there. Okay. Now, once I hook this back, like if Matthew's saying here and then you come back this way, it stops reading like a G. Oh, sorry. I meant it goes down and then curls back. Okay. Yeah. We got to go the other way. So, ooh. Oh, shoot. Okay. Like that. Uh, yeah, but like a, a but more better. Bi bigger curve. Yeah. <laughs> it could be too much. You man. know, the problem <laughs> is the letter Q is like that. With the letter G is like that. And the lowercase G, depending on if you have a two-story G, would look like that. So we have to kind of do something that people are going to recognize as the letter G. So I think that's the danger right there. Okay. Yeah, I think it's probably too saying? crowded. That was a bad, bad idea. No, no, no. We, we got to try things. So I think I know how to solve it, Matthew. Mm. We have to use another letter. We can't use this one. It's starting to feel like a woodcut letter because of all these like little, little traces of the old letter form. So now I'm thinking we need to bring this Y over. And it could work. Maybe. Oh, there's a clever man. Right? So it could work that way. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? What does our YouTube audience think? They hate it when I call them the internets. The internet? <laughs> Why? Don't, I don't know. <laughs> they're like, that's name. disrespectful to me. Yeah. I'm Some not people the internet. said the G looks like a hook. I think they're talking about one of the earlier versions. Yeah. So people are saying, should you close the crossbar on the E? And other people are wondering if we should really have the dot on top of the J looking like that. I like the dot. I don't mind the dot. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have a problem with that at all. Yeah. yeah, I don't see anything wrong with it. No. Apparently not. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. And there's an opportunity here potentially to do something with the top of the crossbar here. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to show you. It needs to be a higher crossing there so they can make it nice and tight. Okay, I think I'm going to leave this alone at this point let's I move understand. on to the next thing moving on moving on to house lannister their motto is hear me roar house lannister i am Tyrion lannister of costly rock thank you very much Tyrion. and let's take a look at the first entry to house lannister this is from cm kevin cm oh, kevin hi kevin from the uk this is not your cousin yet, is it? No, no, no. I okay, he's still lurking there. <laughs> <laughs> How many viewers are we up to now, Mark? We are at 187. Wow. That's pretty gangster. That's, that's pretty good. We picked up 100. That deserves a bell ring. Thank oh. you very much, everybody. I appreciate you. I appreciate you turning, tuning into our show. Okay, let's look at this here. Mm. A lot of things to look at here. I think there's some elements of leaves or perhaps the bushy tail of a lion maybe yeah it kind of feels like that at the end of the r mm -hmm. and but then it on the left side it feels like a leaf right like we're not sure what the heck it is mm -hmm. so what matthew's talking about is over here this feels like a lion's tail this feels like a leaf so it's a right. house of leaf and lions 
Right. Lounging lazily. Right. Lannister. I, I like what this person is doing with the serifs. Mm -hmm. The serifs, like, there's some nice details in here, I think. Like, that S is awesome. The way that this it, finishes here? Yeah, like, that's very yeah. unusual, but that that's very nice. I think just overall, if I'm looking at that and squinting at that, it just feels like there's too much detail in there, so it's mm -hmm. very difficult to read, mm. uh, specifically the L, mm -hmm. because it's a, a T from far away or, or, uh, or an I. Mm. Right, because that bottom of the L doesn't feel like it's oh, yeah. it's heavy enough or yeah. something that's very legible from far away. So here's my biggest issue: is if we didn't know any better, would we read this as a Lannister or Tannister? That's cruel. Yeah, I, one I, I rules kinda... the Seven Kingdoms, and one prepares the leather for the armor that everybody wears. The Tannisters. I see it more as an I. Ian's Ianisters. Ianister. Yeah. So there's a simple thing that we can do. All we need to do is move the vertical part so that it's not symmetrical and it's like right in the middle. That's the problem, okay? Now, here we go. Surgery time. So yeah, I'm going to butcher knives. It's, it's more like a scalpel, I think. It's important that we talk about this. So I'm going to delete that part. I'm going to get in here and maybe delete the leaf. The eraser. Oh, that's already feeling more like an L. Yeah, right? Just because we're going to make sure that the L is legible. Now, remember before when I said if you scale up a letter form, that you need to make sure the thickness is consistent with the other letter form. So I'm looking at the stroke of the T and the N, the letter N, I'm sorry, and I think I need to thin this out just a little bit so it feels consistent. Is that a little closer? Closer. Okay, so and so then Kevin's I'm, saying those flourishes are meant to be the lion's tail. Yeah. But the critique is on point. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be the lion's tail. So I need to be able to do something here so this reads like an L. And I'm going to bring this down and probably do something like this, maybe. Yeah, that looks better. And I don't know how to draw a lion's tail, so I'm going to approximate it. So it would seem. Hmm. We have some other problems that I've created some dead space in between. But mm -hmm. I want to make sure it reads, okay? So we have, I'm going to point out some of the problem areas. We have some areas here and here. Mm -hmm. This is awkward. Isn't it? <laughs> okay. Sorry. So how do we do this then, Matthew? I don't think Matthew's ever had so much fun than today <laughs> with give, the soundboard. You give me a soundboard and I'll go. He's going to go crazy. I'll go crazy. And He's going bananas. The internet can tell me if I'm being annoying. I could kill it. <laughs> no, just keep doing it. <laughs> we don't live for the internet. <laughs> right. What do you guys think of the sound effects? I, so, th I think the the end, the first end, possibly could dip down a little bit lower to help close that space. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that could be one way that we could plug up that hole. Mm. Um, Plugging holes is what we're going to do. <laughs> so what I think... What an I unexpected do. pleasure. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, first negative comment. The soundboard is overkill. Haha. -ha. <laughs> there you go, Matthew. We only have one complaint. I, I think what I need to do is be mindful that I need to close up this space. Oh, so there. that's that's what that's I need much to do, better. Right. Shaggy tail, whatever. Something like that. That's pretty nice. It's nice that it counterbalances with the top of the R, the flourish that's coming off of the top of the R. Mm -hmm. Kind of feels like now they're they're balancing out and they're meeting together at the at the eye, like mm. they're directing your your eye to the eye, the center. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye. <laughs> so we can also do something with this. We can hook it so that there's a little detail there, and we can finish off the rest of this. You can also just drop this down if you wanted to. You know. The, those baselines don't have to line up. So I'm going to erase a little bit of this, the barbs. We also have a comment about the A. Someone's saying if you remove the flourish on the left of the A, you yeah. should close up the gap with the L. Yeah, we, we're going to need to bring it closer together. What they're talking about is this. We need to bring these letter forms closer together. And we can modify this to be a little shorter in its hoop, right? And then we would be done. Okay. Very good. Shim Kevin, 
Let's move on. Move it on. The next one. Woo. Nayan Nath. Nayan Nath. Wow. Okay. I like this mark a lot, Matthew. Mm -hmm. It feels very regal. It feels like the Lannisters. This is like if you guys want to stay in the premium hotel in Milan, stay at the Lannister Hotel. It feels like it right here. There's a lot going on in this one, and it's got some spacing issues, right? Mm -hmm. So when we talk about difficult kerning pairs, the most difficult one is right here, right? Mm -hmm. The L and A. So we have an open face letter form like the L, which is almost always like super tricky to deal with. And then you have an A, which has that angle. So you're really trying to balance something that typically looks like this and this. Now, we do live in Los Angeles, and the way that the LA Dodgers, their logo looks something like this, right, Matthew? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So that's how they so solve it. So that's how that. they solve it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because they're very difficult to bring together. So it's something like that. All you sports people, right? So that's the problem. We, we got to resolve that. But we have other problems here. Look how much spacing is in here. It almost feels like Lannis, ER. Like you, you have to go to the emergency room at the Lannis Hotel. This is where you go. So there's lots of things that are working really well with this. Some of the detail is, is a little overwhelming, but I just like the feeling. It feels regal. It feels like you do rule the Seven Kingdoms. And you think very highly of yourself, don't you, Joffrey? <laughs> right? So what we got to do is we got to bring those together and we got to work on this. Maybe there's removal of some of the little details if you can. But I like the feeling of it quite a bit. Good typeface choice. Interesting ideas. The flipping of the letter ends together. Doesn't it feel like a fashion house? It hotel? does. It could, yeah, like a cologne yeah. also. A cologne. I, I mm -hmm. can see that. It's got a good feeling to it. Lannister by Calvin Klein. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. By Donna Karen. Okay. <laughs> house Martell. Unbowed, unbent, unbroken. House Martell, the symbol is like a flower. Is it? No, it's the sun with the spear. Oh, I'm sorry. Sun with the spear. Yeah. And this is me not even re looking at the, the <laughs> deck itself. Good job, Chris. Right? So here's our first and only entry for House Martel that made the cut. Sandro Vogel. Vogel? Vogel. Ooh. There's a lot Sandro. of interesting things going on here. There, see how they resolve the L here? Very mm -hmm. different mm -hmm. uh, than the uh, LA that we were just looking at. But there's something interesting about uh, the details, how they're all blending into each other. Like the M is kind of curving into the A, which is bleeding into the R, which is bleeding into the L, and then carried on to the little tiny L. So there's a nice flow to this thing. Yes. Yes. I like the chunky serif in the typeface. It feels like New Century Schoolbook bold or black. Mm -hmm. And the E, and using this kind of E, it's kind of adds a curvy element to it, so it's nice. Now, when I look at this, almost it almost works for me. Where it dies for me, and it's about to die right now. Get the axe out. <laughs> we got some problems here. What's this up with this weird teardrop on the M? Boy, doesn't that feel funky. I'm just going to eliminate it because I can. Boom. And then I'm not sure I like this loopy, loopy thing at the bottom here, too. Just, I'm not feeling it. Cut it off here. Eat that. Hmm. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna fix the serif. Hands are steady. Steady. Do this. And do that. Does that feel a little bit more classic? It's cleaner. Can we see the before and after? Yes. Before? Oh yeah. So you don't know what you have until you see what was before, right? Yeah. So I like that a lot. A couple other things. I also don't love this tapered crossbar of the A because we're not, we're not really seeing that. We're seeing things that are very flat, so I'm going to try and flatten that out. So, again, with the hands of a surgeon, how would we'll you do, do it? Well, you'll see. Impossible. <laughs> oh, yeah, check that out. So, we have some trapped space here, and I want to see if I can free up that space because I liberate people and their ideas from. <laughs> delete that. What do we think about that? Martel, Martel. Pray tell, Ooh. Martel. Okay, let's do the B yeah. and the A. Before and after. What do you guys think? Everybody that's watching this, let me know if you thought 
the original, original A, or the new Martel, brought to you by House whatever Martel. <laughs> that it didn't even work, <laughs> guys. It did not work. So this is the sun icon with a spear, right? Yes. I can see a beautiful yes. sigil up here for it. Yep. Really beautiful, like a very Spanish feeling thing, mm -hmm. right up here. Whatever we wind up doing, I think people are doing Ooh. like rays. You know what I'm talking about, right. Matthew? Like, even if it's super simple like that, it, that right? would look beautiful together. House Martel. Yeah, most people are saying B, a few A's, but okay. predominantly B. Uh, all those that said A, you could now leave the room. <laughs> I'm just You're kidding. going to prove. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> all right, love you guys. Love you guys. Just messing around with you, all right? Why so serious? Yeah, it's Friday. Come on. Batman. Okay, House Stark. House Stark, cousin to Jonathan Stark, who's been on the show twice. Also brother to Tony <laughs> from Iron Man coming out, Avengers Endgame. Winter is coming. That's their house motto. And the dire wolf is their spirit animal or something like that. So the wolf, winter is coming. They're the watchers of the north. Or what do they call them? I'm going to make you the of the north. King of the north? No, not king of the north. Mm. Like when they were promising people, like, you'll be the of the north? No, the warden. Warden. Warden of the, the north. The warden of the north. That's right. All right. The Starks, the heroes. Here we go. Stark. Whoop. Here we go. All right. Stark. It's kind of shaggy like a dire wolf. Yeah. Mm hmm Right? So it's got a little bit of personality. Mm. What do you what do you think about that, Chris? When it looks like the dire wolf and it feels a little shaggy. You know, I don't mind it. If this was a story about a pack of wolves like Alpha Omega, then I think it would be just fine. But winter is coming. Yes, it is, and we need to stay warm. Some people are saying spidery. Spidery, mm. kind of mm. like spider legs. Yeah. How they're very hairy. Oh yeah, shoot! Oh, let's give me the heebie-jeebies right now. <laughs> okay, let's talk about it on a formal le level now. Let's get mm -hmm. let's get rid of our feelings about this. Right. And let's look at the T and the S. Yeah, correct. Right. Mm. Mm. Yeah, those are those are too crowded. I it's don't like uh, tark. Up in there. So, Saint, tark. Saint Ark. But yeah. I, I do like the typeface a lot. Yeah. The typeface selected, the base typeface looks very appropriate for Stark for whatever reason. Is it Trajan? One of the oldest serif typefaces. Roman typefaces. Is it Trajan? It could be. I don't it know. It feels like it. Let me just point out something real quick. You guys notice the A, how it overshoots the cap height line? The cap line? Yeah, you see that? Very subtle. It's, well, it's supposed to, right? Because right. what we're saying is if there was a straight line, the mm -hmm. A needs to peak a little bit above. Otherwise, it would not feel even. Mm -hmm. And if you dropped it geometrically, mathematically to that line, it would not look right. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, besides the addition of the hairy parts and that sounded a little funny but <laughs> the s and a t that's really where we need some work right need a little work here and maybe this is one where it could use a flourish i don't know maybe it could use a little flourish for the a like where you bring that out a little bit just to eat up some of the space that's all i got i don't know what to do with this matthew anything no, I think if we were just to open that up somehow, I don't know if you could do it within the, like if the uh, left side of the T maybe was a little bit shorter, that might help. I don't know. It's it's tough. No, nah, That's yeah. such a crazy pairing right there. Yeah. I think you just need a little bit more space and push the S over I mean, to the left. You could shorten it like Matthew was saying mm -hmm. to see what happens. Then I can fix it. I believe it did something like this. I can't remember. You're allowed to modify the letter forms mm -hmm. to do whatever it is that you want, just to get them to work. Okay, let's move on. The next one is from Joshua Cleopas. Joshua Cleopas. Winter is coming. Okay. Well, I think I see a theme here between the previous logo and this one where they want to do a big drop cap, the first initial letter. And then it's just, it's fighting all of this. But this one is working a little bit better in terms of the letter spacing. It feels a little bit more even to me, Matthew. Mm -hmm. And then it's got these little triangular lines. What do you think that is? Inside the A. 
it's hard to tell at this scale. Mm. I don't know what it is. Yeah, because like the A is broken for a reason, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's kind of nice. I I'm trying to figure out what it what it means or like why that person did it. Yeah, but like it's fangs or something. Yeah, could be. You know what I just realized, Matthew? What? I have a call in ten minutes. Oh, we shoot. need to move through this now. Woo. Okay, let's go. I let's rock. We got it. another ten, but she hasn't replied. Okay. All right. So let's look at the next one. This is from Mark Sum. Mark Sum. Okay. If you look really closely, you can see that there's a wolf hiding in the Ooh. negative shape. Oh, right. <laughs> um, there's some kind of the thing horror film vibe going on here from the movie, The Thing. Yeah, a little bit. It's a little bit of that vibe. It's got a little texture and some crunchy edges. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like you're bringing in a lot of uh, personal... POV baggage on, on today's show. That's all I do. That's, that's my middle name, Chris POV Baggage Doe. What are you talking about? I'm that's all I got. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I think that's okay. I think maybe where it hurts a little bit for me is the K, where the K feels a little like, hey, we're the star. Get out of here, K. Where it feels a little smaller to make room for that mm. leg of the R. Right. Right. Doesn't it feel a little bit smaller? Yeah, the K feels a little diminished there. It like does. it's being compacted or like put, tucked behind the R. Yeah. Too much. Like it, I think it I like the idea, but I think it was just a little too much there. Yeah. Okay. I mean, usually I'm a fan of these negative shape logos, you know, but I don't know. Let's move on. Next one. This one's a little chilly. Frosty. Yeah, I think people are using similar typefaces, right? Cuz it also has that vibe. I really like this typeface a lot. The R is open here, and I like these really pointy serifs, taper out like that, you know? Mm -hmm. They look really good. It's a beautiful typeface, stark. Yeah. I, I think all of these serif typefaces, for whatever reason, seem to work very well with the letter forms for stark. They do. Yeah. So this one is similar to the one that we had reviewed with the wolf texture. So this one is the ice version of it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know if you have to thematically make it feel like it's winter on it i think a beautiful typeface could work without all the flourishes that you're adding maybe you could try a little inline i don't know right because i think they took some inspiration from uh like frozen and some of the stuff that you showed yeah. where they are infusing a little bit of the story of the sh uh, movie yeah to help bring that out because if they just removed all those characters then what what would it be i don't know like if they modify this a like the way they did mm. Yeah, I do like that part. You know where on the you don't. Bar. Yeah, the the some of the best logos that we see Ooh. don't have a giant flourish. You know, it's just a little something, mm -hmm. and that's all. Because it kind of, if you see, if you see like um, the R has an open, the K has an open. You open this up, and it feels like a family. Hmm. I like that. It doesn't have to be a lot of stuff. So this is a nice one, Cody. Cody Watkin. Good job. Let's move on. Okay, this is Kento Yoshida. He's not going to leave it just as two entries. It's got to be at least three or ten. Freaking Kento, man. Kento. Oh. Kento, we have some yeah, little issues here. Time. Space, space. That's an odd drawing. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that shape. Sorry. Space and space. There's some issues there. And I am assuming there's a sword here. So the sword, I think it's called Iron Claw that Jon Snow is given. Right. Now, that's just in the timeline of the story. So this is either a family that knows their logo in their future before they design their family logo. Right. That's where it gets a little strange for me. Right. Because they're not known for the sword. Right. So that's the problem. Okay? That's all. I, I don't know. Other people have done swords for Lannister. Eh. Let's move on. This one, Ooh. Matthew, you and I... We stopped on this one. We first, I like, I'm a, I like this. There's something weird about it, and I like it. And then you're like, I don't know. But then we looked it up. What mm -hmm. was the story behind this, Mark? Uh, I think it was based off of some Nordic characters. All oh, right, in runes, right? In runes, yeah. Let yeah, me, yeah. Let me see. Yeah, it's, it was based off of Nordic runes. Yeah. So there's something really cool and ancient about this. I like it in the geometry. Mm -hmm. Feel really cool. I think this is. Oh, uh, this is from Newton and. <clears throat> Excuse me. Newton has a snowflake logo, mm -hmm. so he's looking geometry and reflecting the elements from his snowflake logo, and I think they tie in really well. So I'm gonna just make a really quick comment. It does feel a little modern, but I like the way this R is drawn. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, if we see on my screen, <clears> like that's what the Nordic runes look like. But even those, those because I think they were hand done, mm-hmm. they feel like they have a little bit more character versus the one that we're looking at right now. Maybe feels too clean and geometric. Oh, yeah, I love it. I love it though. Yeah. Okay, let me do a couple of things. What's bugging me is the K. And I'm going to just draw it in red first. You see this space and this space and the line, it doesn't feel right. Something is off there. So let me undo that. Let's see if I can fix this real quick. I'm sorry, let me rephrase my statement. Let me see if I can modify this to my own liking. Not to imply that it was wrong to begin with. So I kind of like that, Matthew. Mm-hmm. And I also want to change this. Okay. Now I'm going to add back in, again with a steady hand, You're strong a heart. Surgeon. That's pretty so good. So that's what I want to do. Now, you were saying before, maybe the A was bugging you because it's closed off, right? So mm-hmm. I'm going to try a couple things here. I'm going to try to see if I can delete this. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. So it's open? So just a little modification, and I don't know. Maybe it's okay. Maybe it's not. I don't know. You guys let me know. I, I think this is where the S and the T need a little love. Right. Because the arc is super cool, and this yeah. stuff needs a little love somehow. I don't know what to do with it. So, Newton, if you want, go ahead and modify it and see what you come up with. Let's keep moving. YouTube audience, internet, let us know if you like the little modifications that we did or if you dislike it, let me know. Yes, my lord. Yes. Very yeah, good. They like good. it. They like it. They like it. Yeah. House Targaryen, our favorite house. Fire and blood because Danny has dragons. Woo. Targaryen, the rightful heirs to the throne. The Mad King and all. Here we go. Let's look at it. Targaryen. I like this a lot, Matthew. So do I. It is sharp. Yes, I like this a lot. It does. It feels very appropriate to them. I yes. I feel like they're also a very proud and noble family. Yep. Uh, and, man, I, I like all the little flourishes. The R coming down, the G. Yeah. And, and I like that they're not even. It feels like there's a lot of thought that was put into where things start and end. Um, and then all the little flourishes, like if you look at the A on the left side and then the E on the right side, they kind of balance each other because they have similar swooshes on the crossbars. Yep. So, man, this is really well done. Okay, so I think this could exist for this house, Targaryen, with whatever symbol that you add. And the current symbol is one where there's like a three-headed dragon with the tail and stuff. So mm-hmm. it's going to look really good in there somewhere, right? So there's like three dragons there somehow. Wow! they're coming they're coming right something like that i can see that working really well now Mm, notice here mm -hmm. they didn't try to make this look like fire right or teeth of a dragon so it just implies a little feeling and the feeling i get is something sharp something scratching at this something spiky so watch out and the letter forms really sit well together there's enough little modifications and a little weathering of the edges well done i'm gonna move on Oh, who, who did that? The the line of life. Wow. Oh, what? That's not it. I'm sorry. Who did it? I, I have to exit out of this. I cannot read. Sorry. Let me get back to it. There we go. It's Bryant Seth Walker. Good job, Bryant Seth Walker. The next one up is Osama Abuzid. Osama Abuzid. Okay. Now, similar little modifications, but when you compare the two, let me cycle back and forth. One is just a little bit more tasteful, mm-hmm. and the letter forms are a little bit more resolved. So we toggle back and forth between Osama's versus Bryant. Right, they're very similar. They're in, similar ideas, right? At that, but I just one is just a little tastier. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so nothing really wrong with this. I just somebody did it better. Is all. The T's a little funky on this one with Osama, so work on that. Next one up. Ooh, Matthew, did you add this from yesterday? I remember I, seeing this I one. I did. I think you did. This one's also very nice. Also feels like it's Trajan, but I'm not sure. Yeah, this is one I want to call out some people because they added color to a black and white Uh -uh. logo. Is is that what they did? They did, so I had to make this one black and white because I wanted to test, will this one still stand out if it was completely black and white and not color? So everyone that didn't uh, pay attention to the rules, shame on you, shame Shame. on you. Give them the shame, Matthew. (laughs) Where's the meme? Where's the meme? Here it comes. Fire it up. Fire up that meme. Shame. Sorry. (laughs) Shame. Shame on Matthew for not pulling up the shame. Here we go. I'm not quick enough, man, you know? Shame. Shame. (laughs) Shame on you. Okay. 
I like this actually. It's just one little thing, and I like it. I just don't like the fact that there's a white letter in there. Right. Uh, the idea is kind of fun. Yeah. Why can't you just make it in black? Don't rely on. Ooh, okay. I see what you're doing, Chris. Little dainty outlines, yeah. guys. See, it could work. Yeah. Nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's move on. That's all you need. Fill it in. Targaryen blood and fire. Whew. A lot of tricks in this one. You know what? There's some really cool stuff that's happening on this letter from too many cool things for me to talk about. Mm -hmm. You have a really unique G. The Y is really cool. The A's. There's some really good stuff, but it's a lot for me to process. So now this, I'll just get rid of that right now. We don't need that. Targaryen. It feels a little bit too delicate for the house of fire and blood. Hmm. What is it that you want from me? I, I want something that feels appropriate, Danny. I am Khaleesi. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Mother of dragons. <laughs> All right, let's move on, okay? I feel like this could be for that uh, house... Martell? The, with the rose? The rose. It's not Tyrell, Martell. Tyrell. Tyrell. They're very similar. House Tyrell. Yeah. Because okay. it feels like a rose. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's move on. Next one. Targaryen. Okay. It's nice. I'm going to go. No, no, nothing bad about this one that I can say. I think here, a little spacing issue. I, I wonder if you can do a little bit more with the bottoms of the T, the G, and the Y just to make it feel a little bit more integrated. I feel like there's some spacing issue here. Let's work on it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Good job. Next up. Woo! Tar Arian. Tar Arian. Guys, this is where I'm have to warn you. You put in the animal, then you have the sigil. What is going to go on? Everything's going to fight everything else. Just focus on the word mark. That's all you need to do. I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about this one. I think the dragon looks pretty cool, you know, but nice drawing there. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to make it a little sharper, sharper edges, you know. So when I'm drawing, I like to have things that go like that versus like that. Why is that? It just feels more dynamic. The lines are more interesting to me. Hmm. If you can cut them. Did you notice the difference though? Mm -hmm. So let's let's go AB on this one before. See how it's like it's kind of a soft belly. I it doesn't see. feel strong. Right. So sharper and edges. That point actually uh, invi like that it implies an invisible line that's closing off the G. Yep. Right? So you you could see that the curve of the G a little bit better than yeah. the other one. So there's some weight issues too, Matt. So we would have to like beef this up a little bit. So that that reads okay, but don't don't try to hide the symbol in there. It's just too much. Woo! Who is this? This Whoa. is Jason Tucker. Jason, I like this one. Mother Trucker. That is. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. It is. It feels ancient. I like this language that we kind of uncovered. And the, the letter forms integrate together. They feel consistent, and it's one kind of visual language. I mean, they could have put a dragon in here and fireballs, but then that would be too much. I like this one, Jason, Mother Trucker. Wow. Good job. Yeah, and I love how nice. all of the letters are overlapping. It's very tricky. It's like a puzzle. It's yes. like a maze. That's what it looks like to you me. You know what it is? What? You, you, you ever play those games uh, when you go into the Dungeons & Dragons store, Matthew, and they have these metal puzzles and they're like linked together? Mm -hmm. And you try to like do oh, it without right. breaking it? Right. That's what, when you said that, I'm like, ooh, there it is. Whoop, <laughs> there it is. Okay. House, totally, let's move on. I have to move kind of light speedish here. Matthew, you may have to take over for me because mm -hmm. Mr. Mark Contreras and I have to jump on a call pretty soon. Okay. New business, new business call. Okay. House Tully, family, duty, and honor. Their symbol is a fish. I don't know what kind of fish, but they're in the Riverlands. So Tully, there we go. Boom. I like this mark a lot. It is a little reminiscent of Margot Chase. So you would be doing the late, great Margot Chase quite proud. If you look at the work of Margot Chase, you'll know what I'm talking about. Really beautifully drawn. Not, nothing bad for me to say about it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what has to do with fish. Mm -hmm. The Riverlands, but hey, who who did this? This is Jess Brown. Jess Brown, I think Jess she was Brown. she was the one who did the very minimal uh, blue sigil, where it's just like the oh, wave and then wow. the the, uh, the the fin coming out. I wonder how these two are going to integrate. Right, they feel like they're in two different universes, right? Maybe we'll see in the next challenge. Kelly, okay, a challenge. Now this is Presmic Presemic Pager Pager Presemic Pager. 
this one feels like take me out to the ballpark mm. a little bit like a like a like, like a, uniform, a sports logo sports uniform, yeah yeah totally it's really well drawn i like it these things are very hard to do i commend you good person right um but it just you know if anything i would have liked to have just finished off this way totally no that's july i don't know anyways i don't know what i'm talking about let's move on <laughs> house tyrell 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 growing strong this is the one with the flower mm -hmm. finally we get to the flower and here we go this mark this word mark is beautiful to me mm -hmm. it's beautiful um we don't need this i don't know why there's a period in tyrell <laughs> this could be for a masthead for tyrell magazine you have the you know the date issue number and then you you have a little line then you have articles underneath it <laughs> it feels you know what i'm talking about matthew <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah the masthead for a magazine you're yeah. just like boom tyrell for the latest and greatest news on westeros but oh, uh, yeah. it feels a little modern it feels a little too modern too modern for, right yeah but so it's beautiful it is looking. really nice I, uh, yeah i can't yeah. stop looking at so, it so tom whiting good job on that you you have a very modern sensibility i do declare oh cm kevin this is cm kevin's second entry as far as i can tell this has got way too much stuff i'm gonna go fast here this is too fat relative to that no no typeface shaming but it's too fat this r it's got <laughs> too much stuff going on wow it's just too woo it's like hooking back and oh my goodness okay i'm gonna move on another one from oh no this is not another one this is joep de viet joep de viet kind of has that woodcut look on there little little kind of xeroxy woodcut mm -hmm. just we gotta go all right mark's telling me we gotta go matthew why don't we dance swap? and swap places yep. and you take it over from here okay everything's set up for you and Matthew's going to take over. I, I leave. Uh, the kingdom is yours. <laughs> the hand. You're the hand. Here you go. Take over. All right. Well, I'm much shorter than Chris. Get that apple box. That's right. There we go. Movie magic right here. All right. Are we calling them? So I think both of these, I think, were pretty interesting in how they used the idea of a rose cr uh, growing around the Y, that's pretty nice. It's a little tricky to read from far away. I think as we've already explored throughout this stream, the subtleties are the things that make it really nice. So if, I think for both of you guys, if you were to uh, make that detail a little bit more subtle and not go overboard on that, I think you could have something quite nice here. All right. And then this is the last one for House Tyrell. Mm. I want to be a Chris Doe right now and say it's it's reminiscent of the, the blind logo. It does <laughs> look like that, yeah. Right? It has all the flourishes. Yeah. Maybe the, maybe they uh, they looked at that. But this is pretty cool. I, I like the, uh, the, the balance of this thing. I don't know if it feels super appropriate for me. That's just my opinion. But I, I really like the letter forms in here. The curls, like if we're looking at, uh, let me go here on Chris's iPad. There's some details in here. I want to say right here, like this is a little too plugged up. And right here, these curls I don't feel like are, are super resolved. And I think if you treated those and opened up the loops a little bit more, so they're a little bit bigger, mm -hmm. those things would feel much better. So accentuate the curls. Right. Yeah. And then there's something funky happening in this negative space right here. Like it feels like it's a little too plugged up. I wish that that was even all the way through coming through this. This is a pretty nice crossbar. I like this crossbar that's coming in here on the E. That's mm -hmm. a nice way to resolve the space right here. Can you do you think you can do that with um, other fonts or is it most like these? The, the crossbar? Yeah, the crossbar. I, I think this is just a nice little flourish. So uh, this person, because they have all these other details like this coming down right here, it feels like it's related. You know, these are part of the same family. Mm -hmm. So it was just a nice way to anchor this. And I could see that this helps anchor the, the house around here too. But even with, with a lot of these, I don't know that you have to put the word house in a lot of the family names or the uh, house names. 
this is it's a pretty nice uh, mark overall. That was a Nino uh, Color Colorinus Colorinus. Sorry, can't pronounce that well. Yeah, so I think overall, if we just ad adjust these negative spaces in here and then fix the loops, I think this would be much much better. And then even here, like I feel like on the Tyrell, like you have a lot of weight on this side of the T on the on the letter form where this side feels like it's a little bit lacking. I feel like if we had something a little bit heavier on this side, we might be able to balance out the weight of these things. It's tricky. Keaton says it feels elegant, but also distracting. Right. Cool. All right. Well, I think actually that is the very last entry that we are reviewing today on today's stream. Um, so of course we didn't go through the top 50 just because, you know, we didn't have time to go through everything. We tried our best to cover what we could and really show off the ones that we thought were worth talking about. So I think now it's a good time to announce our top five. Me and Chris already had discussed yesterday, which are the top five that we are going to advance that you guys are going to all vote on so we could crown the winner of challenge two of three of the future game of thrones challenge so let's this is what we were judging everything on remember uh, that it's memorable it's appropriate to the context to the house and that you did some level of customization so our top five drum roll <laughs> <laughs> we, we gotta get the soundboard <laughs> it's all right so the first of the top five is newton I can't read that last name. I'm sorry. It's so small. I Newton. think it's two L's. Two L's. Lorente. Lorente. Newton. Lorente. Good job. You are the first of the five. This is for House Stark, and it was based off of those Nordic runes. So very, very well done. This is our first finalist here. Next one. We have Lillian Figueroa. This is awesome. Beautiful, beautiful work. Um, you are number two of five. Next up. This is no surprise to me. Our buddy, Kento Yoshida. Of course. Kento Yoshida coming in hard. I think he probably had three or four entries this round, and this is the one that went through. Uh, we looked at this earlier, and we decided that, you know, if we just made little modifications to the amount of claws on the bottom of the, the serifs there, that this could be very, very uh, well refined. So congratulations, Kento. And the next one, Justin Mother Tucker for Targaryen, House Targaryen. Very, very beautiful. I know we didn't go in depth on the review here because Chris was running out of time, but I think both him and I both agreed that this one was very well done, nicely customized, and it felt very appropriate for the house. So good job, Jason. And then the last person for the top five of the future Game of Thrones challenge is Bryant, Bryant Seth Walker. Wow, this one is just gorgeous. Chris already mentioned all the beautiful things. I talked about the great details on the R's and the, the G's. Like, this is just fantastic. It's so simple. It's not trying to illustrate anything, and I think it just feels so appropriate for the house. So congratulations to our top five. Uh, shortly after this stream, I will update the website so you guys can vote on round two and crown your winner. From that, we will assign new points for the next round. So this round is the same weight as the last one. So anyone who made top 50, you guys all get two points each. Anyone who made the top five, you get four points each. And then whoever will be crowned the winner of this round two challenge is going to get six points. And then I will post up the leaderboard after that so we can see where everyone is standing. We got a lot of, we got a lot of new people on the leaderboard now. So I'm pretty excited. So coming up next, Coming up next, we're going to release a video probably next week or the week after, depending on Chris's travel schedule. And we are going to announce who won this round. And then we will also announce challenge number three. Challenge number three is going to be way more difficult and it's going to have a lot more points issued for it. So if you even haven't participated in round one or round two, you could still make it and possibly be the winner for round three, depending on how things shake out, because this is a pretty big challenge. And challenge three is going to be designing a minimalist 
poster. I won't give you all the details, but this one's going to be super fun. I might even jump in if I have the time because I really like this challenge. And just for those of you guys who don't know, whoever wins the grand prize of all three, whoever is crowned the winner, you're going to get the Game of Thrones bookend, seasons one through seven, Pop Funko set, t-shirts, Hand of the King pin, and we will bring you on the show. So I think that's pretty much it for us on today's episode. I just want to say thank you everyone for participating so far in round one and two of the future Game of Thrones challenge thank you everyone who's participated if you didn't get to the top 50 don't be discouraged because all of this is practice practice makes you better and the more you practice the better your skills are and thank you everyone who's tuned in and paying attention here hopefully you guys learned something let us know if there are any particular uh, bits of this episode that you particularly liked call it out with a timestamp that helps us know what kind of content you want on our channels and we're asking you guys to do this more and more because we want to make more cut downs we want to make more content specific to the things that you want so let us know timestamp it com uh, comment and let us know what you want more of i think that's it for us jonah all right i don't have the the cue for any music here but that's all right we will just roll as long as we can don't forget to comment like and subscribe hit that bell so that you get notified next time please we go do. live Thank you, everyone, and have